Hey everyone, Pow Wow Guy, Rob Phoenix here, and welcome to my newest show, The Weekly Pow Wow Update. And during this show, once a week, I'll be taking you through the next seven days of the week. Uh, we'll be talking astrology, we'll be talking weather, we'll be talking powwow charms and healing, and the moon and the signs, and gardening tips, and home remedies, and all sorts of things to get you through the next seven days of your life in the context of Pennsylvania Dutch powwow. So hit the like and subscribe button, hit the notification button so you get updated the next time the newest video posts. And as always, you can find me on my website, pagermanpowwow.com. Now let's get to the update. Hey friends, uh, welcome to the weekly update for Sunday, January 8th through Saturday, January 14th. I hope you all had a good first week of 2023. Um, a little rainier and gloomier than I thought it would be, but, hmm, you know, here we are. So this is the powwow planner section of the video. So what we're going to do is talk about the upcoming sign that the moon is in and what you can powwow for during those times. So on Sunday, the moon is in the sign of Leo. Leo rules the heart and the spine. Now, as a Leo, I can tell you that I actually have heart problems and spine problems. I've had my spine shattered, broken, it's held together by screws and metal rods and such, and I have a heart condition. Um, so the important thing to know about uh, if somebody comes to you with an issue with their heart or their spine, the, the real important thing is not just self-care, but exercise. The heart is a muscle, and it needs exercise. However, sometimes it also needs medication, so never discount that. Always refer your clients to see their primary physician. Um, that's really important. Uh, spine, again, all kinds of issues can, you know, uh, uh, make a spine not work the way it's supposed to or cause pain and such. Recommend x-rays or they see their physician. The physician can recommend x-rays. Um, but certainly we have a lot within the powwow tradition to kind of alleviate some of those symptoms. Now, as the, the week moves onward, by Wednesday, the, uh, the moon is moving into the sign of Virgo. So we're moving slowly down to our bodies, into our intestines, um, the lower part of the liver. Uh, so then it becomes more, we're talking heart health, we're talking spine health. Now we're talking about digestive health and liver. We got to take care of our liver. Um, so there are things that you can do uh, insofar as digestion and liver. You want to, obviously, your diet. Our diets are so important. So if you are powwowing for those sorts of complaints or issues, um, recommend that your, uh, your, your, your client sees their physician to talk about their diet, um, talk about the foods and the liquids that they're putting into their bodies. Um, because there might be some changes to be made there, some improvements. Um, finally, as our, 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 our week ends, the moon moves into the sign of Libra, and that's our kidneys and our skin. So really, the whole theme of this coming week, the heart pumps blood through our system, you know, our intestines move food through our body, our liver processes and cleans, you know, the stuff out. Um, our kidneys filter the liquids. Our skin actually is the ultimate organ on our body that is the outward reflection of everything we do inward. So if you're doing all the wrong things inward, the wrong things for your liver and your kidneys and your, in, you know, your digestion and your heart, that will reflect outwardly on your skin. Um, that's really important to consider. So this is really the week to think about um, and powwow for those things. Uh, you know, how our body absorbs and processes what we put into it. And then the skin, the condition of our skin reflects, you know, it's the outward reflection of the inward self. Um, that's really important. So for the next uh, seven days, I want you to uh, not only focus on those things for yourself, but if you have clients who have any issues, 
you know, internally with their heart and their spine and their liver and their kidneys and their digestion. Certainly we can try for those, but we also have many uh, remedies, home remedies, um, and even powwow rituals or prescriptions that we can do for the skin. Because we're talking about um, the moon moving through the signs that rule like um, our digestion, how fluids and foods are moved and processed throughout our body, um, uh, our liver, our skin. Uh, I thought the most appropriate um, sort of home remedy that I could talk about would be dandelion. Dandelion is often seen as a weed, um, but growing up, my grandmother actually had dandelions in her garden because she would pick those leaves and then we would have those, I mean, she would make them with hot bacon dressing, which I never liked because I don't like bacon. Um, but we would eat dandelion leaves growing up. And she used to tell us they were good for our blood. I don't know, you know, if they're so much good for our blood, but they, they uh, dandelion, dandelion leaves or dandelion root, like I have some here. Um, dandelion is good to eat as a leaf. Um, it's also, in, as the root, you can make it into tea or a tincture. And, you know, like an infusion, not a tea an infusion or a tincture. Um, but the dandelion root will help stimulate your appetite. Uh, dandelion root also improves digestion. Um, it's also found to be effective. It improves liver function. So that's really important. Um, but the final benefit to um, taking in the, the benefits and nutrition of dandelion is that it improves your skin. Um, you can actually, you know, make an infusion and drink some dandelion with your tea. You can actually re replace your coffee with dandelion uh, root. Um, I actually tried that once and it was disgusting. <laughs> uh, but you can add it to uh, regular tea or add it with other, um, you know, like good uh, uh, digestive things like cinnamon, ginger, you know, that's a turmeric, you know. Things that uh, 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 aid in digestion um, to get those benefits in your body. But you can also make it as a face wash. Um, you can boil it up, mash it up, like make a decoction and to, 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 to clean your skin. Um, so dandelion is a, a, a fantastic healer. Um, great as an infusion. You can add it to your regular tea so you're still getting the benefits but you taste like the other kind of tea that you're using. Um, a tincture, you're going to take several drops a day, like 20 to 30 drops a day. But you can mix that with like orange juice or hot tea or coffee or whatever. Um, and also you can make it at, into a wash uh, for your skin. So remember it improves your liver, improves your circulation, it helps to stimulate your appetite. It's great for the skin. The powwow uh, ritual slash charm prescription that I would like to talk about for this week is something that is appropriate for digestion, uh, the health of our kidneys, the health of our skin. Um, it's a plant a food product called rhubarb. Now, rhubarb is not super popular. It's kind of like, rhubarb's kind of weird. It's almost like like a reddish kind of celery sort of, I don't know, radish kind of thing. Um, but dried rhubarb is, you know, well, rhubarb is known as, particularly in Chinese medicine, for healing, like um, cleansing your kidneys and getting rid of infections and aiding your digestion. Um, and cleansing the liver. So those are all things, but it's also very good for the skin. Those are all the things that we're focused on this upcoming week. So you can, for powwow, we've already talked about uh, medicinal things using dandelion and such, but this week you can, uh, uh, the, 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 the powwow cure is dried rhubarb. Now in powwow, we use a lot of these little uh, sort of linen or muslin or cloth pouches. Um, and traditionally, the pouch would be filled with whatever it was, in this case, dried rhubarb. Um, and then it's worn against the body 
against the bare skin. So it can be pinned like inside a shirt or a dress or something or tied to a cord or something, you know, and worn against the bare skin to bring the necessarily healing to the digestion, the, uh, uh, the kidneys, the liver, you know, that sort of thing. So that is the, 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 the powwow charm for this week. Uh, you want to get some dried rhubarb root. Um, you can pulverize it a little bit in your mortar and pestle, put it in a small linen pouch or a muslin cloth or something, a little square sewn pouch and wear it against the bare skin to affect the healing that you need. My shout out this week is, it's not a website, it's actually a book. The Llewellyn's Daily Planetary Guide. I get this book every year because I love astrology and astrology is extremely important to not just the Pennsylvania Dutch culture, but also to the tradition of powwow. Um, if you don't know a lot about astrology, that's okay. They literally devote like the first 90 pages to teaching you about astrology. And then every day you can see, um, I mean, I have a lot of notes written on every day, but it gives you all the aspects and transits that are of importance. Um, so you know what sign the moon is in, you know what, what's aspecting certain things, uh, you know, uh, trines and squares and oppositions and such with. Um, so it's just such a great tool for planning. Now, I, I love the Daily Planetary Guide. I also use the Llewellyn's astrological calendar. It gives you the same information, um, actually a little bit more. Uh, that's hanging on the, the pantry door, but the Daily Planetary Guide um, in the United States is $13.99, but I got it for 50% off, uh, from Amazon. You know, at the end of the year, like calendars are like 50% off. Um, I definitely recommend it. Uh, it's a really good resource. It gives you everything. I mean, it tells you when all the new and full moons are, um, all the retrogrades, what it means. And then there's like actually a horoscope for every week of the year. So, I mean, this is a fantastic book. It really is. Like Llewellyn, uh, when it comes to astrology, they're second to none. So, I, you know, you can't say that about all their stuff, but when it comes to astrology and the Daily Planetary Guide, I highly recommend this. And right now you can probably get a 50% off, so you're going to pay like $7 maybe for it. It's totally worth it. And there's a lot of space to like write your own stuff. Like, this, I don't know what month this is, but yeah, later January. But see all this blank space you could write, but it gives you all the aspects and transits, the times that these things happen. Um, so here you go. That's my shout out for this week. Llewellyn's Daily Planetary Guide. Hey everyone, thanks for watching the weekly update. Please like and subscribe if you're not already subscribed to my channel. Uh, click the notifications to get notified next time I post a video. And God bless you all, love you, and we'll see you next week.